Uh, welcome, everybody. Whoop, whoop. What's your bacon in seven questions? It is the show where we have distilled lovingly the meaning of life. Nay. The meaning of happiness. Nay. The meaning of all joy. Everything. Everything. Literally everything. everything. Down to just seven questions. We started with... 8,746. No one said yes. We distilled it down to seven. Now people want to be on the show. It's nice. It's, it's nice. not everybody who says yes, but majority say yes. Yeah, the important ones. The important ones. Today. Yes. All right. Here we go. Today. One breath. <gasps> With a number of singles and EPs under their belt, the millions of listens on Spotify, their first LP, I Don't Want to Make It Hurt, LP means it's a full-length record for the kids out there that don't know that those things exist or can happen. That's out now on all streaming platforms, physically available on vinyl, in a super cool electric blue violet with baby pink splatter design, or the more subtle, yet equally as cool, side A white, side B double mint green colors. We welcome Chicago Pop, tickle your feels while making your dance band, Better Love. Hello. What an intro. He's 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 gotten really good at these. Um that one was a good one because you didn't take a lot of breaths. Right. Yeah. He's he every like the last one he 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 started doing, he got about halfway through and that's true. Ruined it. That's true. I did ruin it. But he did he did this really well. Guys, welcome to the show. Um what we're about to do is um Get to the, the nooks and crannies of your mm. English muffin, the double stuff of your Oreo. Yes. Are Ooh. you guys ready for the Consumers of Bacon is my podcast to do just that and get to know your innards just a little bit better? We're going to see how many it takes, it licks it takes to get to the center of the Tootsie Pop. It three. Is. It's three. It's three. It yeah. is three. A three. This is seven, though. That's true. We're going to do it in yeah. seven. <laughs> yeah, let's, let's get to it. All right. First thing, everybody just... Uh, Give us a name and what you do in the band, just so that our listeners that are not viewing this on Strangerhood TV, the ones that are just on streaming, can kind of hear a voice and put a, put a name to a voice. Jackie, go first. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to think, like, what order? I'm like, oh, I I, am I speaking the same order as everyone else? <laughs> I was just, I, I'm going clockwise for me. <laughs> I'm just... Yeah, okay. Well, okay. hello, I'm Jackie. Um, I sing, play a little bit, little bit of guitar and a little bit of keys. And most recently, I have a tambourine. So things are, things are oh, looking up. Oh, multi-instrument. <laughs> bringing it in, bringing in the tambo. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Well, my name is Brad. Uh, I do um, some similar things. I also sing, play guitar, some keys. I don't have the tambourine in my hand, but maybe one day. We'll Dude, get there, baby steps. maybe one day. If if your hands are too busy, they do make the one you can you can tuck into your shoe. Yeah. Really? I got one of those. Yeah, those are clutch. They have one you can tuck, and then there's one with a strap where you can put it on front. Mm -hmm. The oh, stomperine. I, yeah. I didn't know that those existed. They're a, thing. They're a thing. Take a look. Oh, no, that's great to know. Yeah, maybe Sweetwater someday. here, Brad comes. Indeed, indeed. <laughs> yeah, I'll be calling. Awesome. <laughs> and uh, I'm Kay. I play drums and percussion. Uh, I don't know why I always put percussion at the end of it, because I really think that just means, like, sometimes I do a shaker or a tambourine, but in the studio, so... <laughs> We have multiple tambourine players. In Lots the of tambourine yeah. players. Yeah. Yeah. I tell you what, tambourine is not easy to play. No, no, it isn't. You think it is, and then you start, and you're with a song, and you're like, "Where's the beat? Why can't I wait? Hold on, wait, hold on." <laughs> I was say, yeah, to actually get the tambourine on time is uh, it's a bit of a journey to get there. Yeah, it definitely For is. Sure. No easy feat. I, I I teach music to uh, to kids, and sometimes we have mm. a tambourine thing, and they're like, "I'm just going to do a tambourine for this." I'm like, "And sing? You're going to do that while you're singing?" You sure you're going to do luck. that one a second? Good luck, buddy. <laughs> all right. All right. For some reason, time. when you started mentioning that, I just imagined, like, a bunch of kids having tambourines. <laughs> oh, that's the worst. all of them trying to do it at once. It's that just a whole... Chaos. <laughs> a whole ski <laughs> of, yeah. of yeah. tambourines. Yeah. yeah. I yeah. guess, like, how many tambourines is too many tambourines? Four. <laughs> oh. I was oh, going to say there was no limit, but... You're pretty oh, confident yeah. on that. Yeah, I'll, I'll say four. I mean, I can be argued out of it because uh, yeah. I don't really know anything. So, uh, well, I was gonna ask is like that was that's that answer sounded like it came from a very specific place. Like you like you know it's four from experience. Like right, there's nothing nah. that happened. I just fake conviction when I speak. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> you got you got me. So. Relatable. <laughs> it's oh, working. <laughs> 
<laughs> but speaking of asking how many things are too many. There you go. Question that brings number us one. Into, right into question number one of what's your bacon and seven question. Guys, how many pillows is too many? Okay, I need a clarifying question. Are yes. we talking like like display wise or sleeping wise? Dealer's choice. Mm -hmm. Dealer's choice. But please, if you're tell us how many are sleeping yeah. and how many are decorative if you're gonna go there. Okay, four is too many. Three is like the perfect amount. Okay. Okay. And now is that all usable or are we talking? Oh no, I'm using yes. Like yeah, in, a, yeah. in an ideal world, I have three pillows. Okay. Three's good. Three's yeah. good. Yeah. It's a solid it's number. number. Legs head head. Legs head on. Yeah. That's no, it's like it's like, yeah. like your, your head. You got between your legs and what do you want to like kind of hold on to something. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I was you. gonna say I was gonna say two just for like sleeping on the head, like depending on the pillow itself. I feel mm -hmm. like but two is the most I can do there. But I have heard about, you know, sleeping with a pillow like in between your knees is like good for your hips if you're a side sleeper. Which if is you're side, if you're a side sleeper, yes. Okay. I've that, also that is, that. that is what I am. And I've never tried the sleeping with a pillow between the knees. But maybe now maybe now it's time. Yeah, oh, it'll uh, time. it'll change your life. Because I have I have three three regular pillows on my bed and two display pillows. And the display pillows just end up kind of wherever because I'm kind mm -hmm. of a, a chaotic sleeper. But mm -hmm. I do like one between the legs, one like I'm a side sleeper, too. So one arm goes under the pillow that my head's on. And then another one I kind of just cradle with the other arm. Mm -hmm. um, it's it's pretty good. Pretty good. I like that. I like that. OK, I'm in. I'm with it. Question number two. And, and here we go. <laughs> This is going to open up the can we of worms. Got, we're uh, we're in we're in Long Island, New York, right now. Just so yes, just so everybody oh. knows before this yeah. question happens. Um, yeah. So here we go. We don't have to go too far into it. We read what you said, Brad. We we did read what you said, Brad. <laughs> we'll get into that on the full episode. But this is why it's so important. Question number two is: What is the perfect pizza order? You know, I, I did have a feeling this was coming when you said you were in Long Island. Yeah, um, it depends on the day. Oh, man. It's okay. All right, perfect Jackie. Pizza order. Yeah. Who, who's got one ready? Who's, I, who's got I, Brad I think just like a pepperoni tavern style. Sorry, I'm not Brad, but that was like no, no, an I, that's my turn ready to say. Yeah, okay. I, I didn't actually have an answer ready. I was just thinking about a lot of different pizza all at once so when i think tavern style chicago i think a thin i think that thin like flat cracker bar cracker yep. crust bar yep. pie mm -hmm. right uh -huh. which oh, yeah. which like i'm i'm from the midwest too i'm from india i love those i love there's a time those. and a place there's there's a time and a place for sure for that so yep. i'm 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 on board there yeah i feel like for me I, well i can only speak for myself but being from chicago here well i'm sorry chicago suburbs um but living in chicago now like you know, obviously, I feel like throughout the U.S., like Chicago's known for like the deep dish thing. But I right. feel like deep dish is more of like the time and place sort of thing for me. Where if I want like Chicago style, like it's definitely tavern, tavern style for me. But the reason I like, <laughs> it sounded like I was going to have an answer at first, but I also started thinking about East Coast pizza because I do really like New York style pizza too. Like, oh man, just the big thin crust slice. Right, like, right. Sometimes yeah. it just hits a certain spot that is always good. Um, I just, I can't get behind the fold in the pizza. I'm sorry. What? Come on. I know. That's fair. It's, that's it's fair. okay. That's, you don't, you have, don't have, to have to fold it. You don't have to fold it. That's, that's like a, that's I don't even know you. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> what's, our, what's our toppings of choice, guys, everybody? Um, okay, can I go between two? I have two favorites. Sure. sure. Yeah. One is going to be like a pepperoni hot honey. Oh, it's man. Sad. Fan, I recently you know, did that, aspect. and it's fantastic. Yes. Yes. And then in another world, it's sausage, mushrooms, and peppers. Now, the sausage, sliced or crumbled? Mm, important. Crumbled. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yep. That is the correct answer. That is the correct answer. Yeah. For sure. There's really no wrong answers except in the sausage question. Yes. I agree. <laughs> I absolutely agree. Yeah, I was going to say, for me, when I... When I was still eating meat, it was sausage and peppers. Mm -hmm. uh, but lately, um, it would probably be peppers and also roasted garlic, if I'm going to go for yes. that. Yeah. Roasted garlic is a really good one. Uh, mm -hmm. But also hot honey has been 
awesome. Like I, I've been man, enjoying that lately a lot. I still haven't done it yet, and and I really want to. Yeah, I, need I, to go I should have brought some. Definitely over. should. You should have yeah, brought, brought, brought it over. It's one of those yeah. things where you first thing about it, you're like honey on pizza. I don't know, but like once you try it, hot honey, it's game changer. I did it. Favorite. I did it by accident. I I stopped at a place on my way here once, and I was like, okay, I'm gonna grab a slice. I'm between work and coming here to do a podcast. And I, I grab like, oh, they have grandma pie with like the pepperonis that are like the little ones that cup up and they become like grease shots. I love oh, that. That's, yeah. Yeah. My world is there. And, uh, and I was like, okay, I'll, like, give me that. And I'm, I took the first bite and I was like, what is happening in my mouth right now? Because <laughs> I'm getting the pepperoni, but there's something sweet. And then I'm getting like a, like a spice on the back. What is happening right now? Uh-huh. And, uh, and then I remembered at the place seeing that they were selling hot honey there and i i used my uh deduction skills oh there you go so your, <laughs> your grease pocket turned into a hot honey pocket turned into a hot honey pocket right wow. and that oh my god <laughs> that was everyone life- loves a good pocket everyone wants a good but that was life-changing <laughs> oh man that, that also makes me think of um just like sort of out there ingredients on a pizza Oh man, I wish I remembered the name of the place, but there's a place that has a couple of locations, I think in like the Philly area, where their whole thing is that their sauce recipe includes a little bit of grape jelly. Oh. And like, it's like a sweet sauce with that. And again, one of those things where you kind of go, huh, I don't know. But once you try it, it's crazy. Like, <laughs> Interesting. That's, how- that's New York. That's one of the things that makes their sauce different than yeah. other places is the amount of sugar that they add to it to sweeten it up. Yeah. Um, that's that's like one of the hallmarks of like a true New York uh, pizza sauce is the sugar. I agree. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Show. Uh, okay, what's your topping? Real quick. Oh, I was, I'm going to get on the, the pepperoni hot honey train. I used to work at a pizza shop, and uh, we had this pizza slice. Like, we sold by the slice as well. And it was a uh, pepperoni hot honey ricotta, which was really nice touch, Ooh, and then basil. Nice. Oh, that's... Um, so, that, I, I, I ate so many slices this. of that when I worked there, So and, and I, I still will eat it. I never got <sighs> sick of it. Pizza's so great. It's the best. It really it is. is the best. All right. Uh, we're, we're here on question three. Sometimes these questions take longer than others. Uh, <laughs> true or false on this one? Should be quick for you guys. I, I, I imagine everybody's got an answer right away, yeah. right? True or false? Cereal is a soup. True. False. All right. Oh, uh, <laughs> I want to say true. All right. Okay. A little bit of dissension. Yeah. <laughs> House divided. <laughs> I've, oh man, I've never thought about that one. Uh, I want, I mean, my first thought is yes, because you know there is a liquid base, and there is solid food right. in that, like mixed in into like a bowl, and you you know you eat it the same way. Um, that's just my first thought. Though. <laughs> I, just shaking her head. No, just, I thought like, I absolutely, like, wrong. absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Jack. Your, cream based broth. Cream-based broth, mm. wheat or rice-based noodle. I mean, all the hallmarks are there. The reason, <laughs> the reason I said true so quickly is because I feel like any argument against it not being a soup just sounds silly. I'll take that. <laughs> I'll take that. <laughs> I'll say, what, okay, what's under but my here's jacket? the thing. There's not a meat or vegetable cereal. Yet. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. <laughs> I've I've eaten like if you get a box of like Lipton noodle soup, there's no meat or veggies in it. Yeah. Yeah. There's many soups with no meat. I'm sorry, okay. Jackie. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, but what's the stock made of? Some type of no. vegetable. Cream. Cream. cream okay, base. so cream base. So that comes from a cow. So there's your there's your protein. Cream base. I mean, so there's well, your you clam chowder. Cream. Absolutely, you can have cream, but you, it's not like you're not just a soup is not just like warm milk and noodles because that's weird. Mm, okay, but it's, you're it's interesting. Chicken stock, noodle and soup. The stock is either going to be a vegetable or a meat stock. She's got a point. She does. She's got a point. I mean, we can be swayed either way. Okay, we have no allegiance. I have zero allegiance to anything, yeah. so I can be swayed with a good argument. Yeah. I, and I will die on this hill, so. Okay. Gonna, <laughs> all right. I'm going to ask chat GPT. <laughs> <laughs> Is cereal a soup? That's like a... Well, there's there's, a hot dog sandwich. There's a lot of versions of that question. Yeah. There's like yeah, I thought that would be the next one. Right. Is, right. A, is a pop tart a ravioli like... Right, a pop-tart's oh, a sure. ravioli. Yeah, it yeah. is. 
A hot dog's a sandwich or it's a taco. It, yeah. Oh, wait, hold on. Or is a taco a sandwich? Uh, sure. Why not? I'll allow it. It's a wrap, if you will. A wrap? Yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> They're looking it up right now. <laughs> all right. Question. Oh, no, sorry. I, I missed so much. <laughs> My computer thought I was asking Siri for something, so Siri popped up, and it just <laughs> completely blocked all of the audio that just happened. All <laughs> right. Just, Siri was just saying Question you. number four. Siri was like, shut these guys up. While, while you guys are looking this up, question number four, <laughs> gift cards, lame gift idea or great gift idea? I think it's fantastic. I yeah. think it can be great, depending on who it's for. It's amazing. Yeah. And honestly, I, I have a kind of a rule of thumb is I never assign intention to what someone's doing. Um, or if I do, I assume good unless unless given a reason to think otherwise. Um, it's a good way to live. And, I like that. Yeah. And I also just think that, like, there's a lot of pressures around gifts. And it's like, especially as like, you get older, um, friendships are a bit different. You might not be as close as you were um, in, like, the day-to-day -day life. But it doesn't necessarily constitute, like a change in like your overall relationship with someone. Um, but like, there might be this thing where I'm like, oh, I know Brad likes shopping at Madewell. I might not know his pant size, but I know he could find something there. That's, yeah. There you go. I like that. I'm yeah. on that side as well. I'm with you. I love a good gift card. Yeah. Hmm. I also give a good I'm gift thinking. card. <laughs> <laughs> it's got Brad thinking. Yeah. It's got me thinking. Yeah. What you thinking? What you thinking, Brad? Yeah, I think... Oh man, I, it's probably more of like <clears throat> the, like my own sort of like pressure I've put on myself to find like good gifts for people when I can. Right. Yeah. And like sort of retraining the thought process of, oh yeah, maybe gift cards aren't like, and that, not that gift cards are, I think inherently bad in any situation. Um, but I think like, oh yeah, interesting. These are good questions. We know. These are definitely we, the unexpected ones. We know. Yeah. That's what we do here, guys. <laughs> Kay, yeah. What about you, Ben? I think I'm going to, like, piggyback off what Brad said. Because at first they said, like, depends on who it's for, right? So, like, I feel like if it's somebody I don't know that well, that I would maybe not get, get them a gift card. Because, or maybe I would get one of those, like, prepaid card things where you can right, just use right. it anywhere. But, like... If you get a car, like a gift card for somebody you don't know very well, and you get them a gift card to somewhere they don't like, then it's like maybe not good. But I also feel like it works better for people you do know because you can be like, I know you like this thing, so go right. get it. And I think that also like adds to Jackie's thing too of like, oh, you know that that could be be a sign of you knowing this person a certain way. Yeah, but, right. it makes know. it not like the argument against is usually that they're impersonal, right? You you didn't mm -hmm. oh you didn't bother to take the time, but. But if you know that they like a certain place, hey, I, I have a dad that, that will never, ever, ever tell me something that he wants for any holiday or birthday, right? Mm. But I know where he shops and I can't right. afford anything that he'll buy. And if he buy, he's like, if I buy something, I'll just, if I want something, I'll just buy it. And right. I'm like, all right, well, I'll give mm. you a gift card. And then he lets him add up and then he goes and uses it for something. Yeah. And I'm like, cool. Yeah. All right. That's great. Um, and I'd rather somebody, you know, if someone's going to get me, we've said it before, we're all musicians here. I'd rather somebody give me a gift card to Sweetwater or to, uh, or to Reverb. Reverb than to, like, mm -hmm. decide that they're going to pick out a guitar strap for me mm -hmm. or, right. or, or what strings I'm going to use or picks because I'm going to get them. I'm going to be like, I don't, I use these. I'm never going to use these. <laughs> but thanks. <laughs> thanks. That's awesome. Thanks yeah, for the metal fair. zone pedal. <laughs> so, <laughs> All of the metal zones. I was going to say, well, one more metal zone to add to the board. Right. <laughs> <laughs> All metal zone pedals. I love that that's, like, that's just the go-to for guitar players. We just know. Yeah. We're just like, it's, yeah, it's the metal zone, right? Yeah. All right. Okay. <laughs> we all... <laughs> It's the one universal bit that we right, all have. Right, right. <laughs> it's because we all had one. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, honestly. <laughs> At one point or another. It's also Absolutely. like really funny to hear like like very small pockets of musicians too being like, you know, actually if you know how to use it, you can dial it in right. And like, <laughs> right. And yeah. Like, and right. it's like I am gonna maybe you have a point somewhere in there, but I'm I'm gonna live in my own little comedic world. I'm I'm gonna go ahead and say that I've model. that I've never met someone that knows how to use it then. Right. <laughs> yeah. I know how to use it. It's called a paperweight. Right. Yeah. That's a that's a great way to use it. <laughs> Yeah. All Before right. Use it, keeping it hot. 
Guys, question number five. What number is Mike thinking of? Seven. Sixteen. Ooh. Ooh. I'm going to go with five. Mm. Wow. They were so close. Yeah. Yeah. All of them. Question number six. What is your go-to jukebox pick? <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. You're not going to tell us what number you're thinking? What? We're not... We're... <laughs> You're not going to tell us what number you were thinking of? We're not going to well, get the answer. We, we're asking the questions yeah, here, Brad. Nobody, nobody, uh, nobody got it. Nobody got it. So, okay, it's like we're interviewing six. you. <laughs> yeah. What is your what, what is your go-to jukebox pick? We're at six now. That's five. That's the past. We're past it. <laughs> go-to jukebox pick. Uh, oh, I know mine. You go first. So, so like, t touch tunes counts, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Okay, yeah. so, like, there's this really long extended version of Red Red Wine that exists. It's, like, maybe, like, close to 20 minutes long. <laughs> and uh, I used to, like, just go into bars and have it start playing, and people just get, like, really confused. Um and something more chaotic that I started doing is that I would walk by bars and see if they have a touch tunes and not go into the bar, but play that right. song there. <laughs> yeah, there's there's a lot of songs I'll play on my way out. Like, I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll put it in, and, and then I'll wait to hear it, and then I'm like, it's on, and then I'll leave. Oh, that reminds me, too. I used to do this other thing where I would play a song preemptively before walking into a bar, so it's like I had an intro song into Ooh. walking in. <laughs> What's your intro song? What's entrance music here? Yeah. I don't know, actually. I I'm trying to think. I I wonder if I still have the Touch Tunes app because I could probably see my most played songs. I do that's, still have it. Go to somebody amazing, else, and we'll, one. we'll All come right, back. Okay. Gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> Jackie, Brad, who's yeah. who's got one? Uh, mine's a lot less fun, but the first thing the first thing I could think of was um, what's that? Just sit in the rhythm of the heart. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, 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 the darkness. Yeah. The darkness. the darkness, yes. Yeah, yeah. I believe in a thing called love. I believe love. in a thing called love. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I got some beef with him. Because he, he was shitting he was shitting <laughs> on uh Yeah, he was he was saying that John Frusciante sucks as a guitar player. Oh, okay. So I love oh, I love their, their that mean. record. That's a mean thing. That to record, say. but that he, record he is great. Yeah. yeah. That record's awesome. Kay yeah. and I used to listen to that record a lot. Um, oh, yeah. 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 Like yeah, that was. That's a solid song choice too. Right? Yeah, like yeah, because there's gonna be people at the bar that there's no way they can sing it, but they're gonna try. Oh, oh and absolutely. that that cacophony is one of my favorite sounds. <laughs> 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 it's just hearing people that can't can't hit a note sing the song okay. anyway. It's yeah. like I'm gonna <laughs> It's fantastic. Oh, yeah. I like that. That's a good one. That's really Brad? good. For me, so. I don't think I ever had a go-to touch tunes or like jukebox song per se. Um, the closest thing I can think of is like a go-to karaoke song. Sure. Which mm. would probably be Take On Me. Oh, good one. Hell yeah. That's a great good one. one. That is just a banger every time. Yeah. Solid, yeah. Brad, solid I have choice. done some Take On Me karaoke back in the day. We have. Nice. And like, <laughs> that's been funny because like, the once or twice that Jackie and I have done it, it's the class classic thing of like people love it, but people also are like, "Oh, fuck you! You guys can actually sing." <laughs> right, right. <laughs> That's not the point of this. <laughs> You're doing like it wrong. <laughs> we didn't. We yeah. didn't come here for good. Right. You, you do your own full-on two-piece harmonized version it's, of yeah. it. <laughs> it was still drunken though, so like, who knows how good it actually was? But hey, <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna go on a limb and say it was excellent. Yeah. Oh. I'm gonna believe it was excellent. So too. Thank you. Yeah. Well, only history knows now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Kay. Did we find our entrance song? Yeah, the song. And it's funny because this is the only song I know by this band. But it's that song like you get you get what you give by New Radicals. Oh. <laughs> it has like this really long build up, and then it just like hits. Right. You've got I'll that. tell I you what. Kay. To it starts in, to like, build right when it hit. Yeah. Right on the. <laughs> Yeah, I'll tell you what, Kay. That is the only song anybody knows from the New Radicals. That's true. So yeah, probably <laughs> you don't lose here. I'm trying That's to true. think of what one that is off the top of my head. The, I don't like I need to hear it now. Did, did, you only get yeah. what you give. Na, 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 na. Right? Yeah. yeah. That's it. Oh, yeah. uh, give it to me now. <laughs> <laughs> is that before the solo? That's right before the solo. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna have to like listen to it. Yeah. 
It's not quite ringing the bell yet, but it will. That's all yeah, right. it will. As soon as once, it starts, once, you, once you hear it, it's gonna, you're going to be like, your oh, head will, Your head will start to move, and then your shoulders just start to move. <laughs> yes. Yeah. It's one of those. It's one of those. Hold on. I'm playing it real quick. There it is. <laughs> all right. Case outside the door right now. He's letting it. He's letting it build. They, they count me in too. Yeah. Yep. He's about to throw what? the door open. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. And there it is. <laughs> there they are. Into is that, the door. Is that that's where you you open up the door and you're like. <laughs> no, the, I think the funniest part about it is that it was only for me. It was so anticlimactic. Like nobody was there waiting for me or anything. But for that me, makes it was, better. That you know makes what it I mean? Better, yeah, it's like a wrestler well, intro it's... almost. Right? Yeah. You, you it, come I, in, exactly. you start asking for. A, you come in, you're like, "Give me some applause. <laughs> <laughs> Let me hear you." <laughs> oh man! And people are like, "What the hell? Yeah, <laughs> what's happening?" I tell you what, if I was at a bar. And you came in right on that, and you bounded in the door, arms askew. I would stand up and applaud. I'd take my hat off. Yeah. I'd be like, we're friends immediately. <laughs> what, what are you drinking? Yeah, I'm, you're, yeah. You got one waiting for you. <laughs> nice. All right. Well, we've made it. We're here. Here we are. We're, we're at question number seven. The illustrious question number seven, which is an right. important question. Indeed. Because. Uh, depending on how you guys answer it, you might be eligible for a bonus question. Oh, a I bonus know. question. Mm -hmm. Right? Right? I know. I know. Now. Don't let the pressure get to you. Yeah. All right? I want you to just uh, still, you know, it's a fun show. We're just doing fun stuff. Right? Don't worry about it. It's okay. <laughs> it's all right. So, so far, out of 200 and some odd shows. Who knows? Yeah, that we've done this. The uh, the percentage of people that have oh, not... Oh, we're going with percentage this time. Yeah, okay. well, yeah. Because last we gotta... time it was the number, but it took you a while to get to the number. Right. But percentage, you're pretty good. So percentage-wise, the people that math. have not Thanks. gotten the bonus question. Uh, zero. Yeah, nobody's nobody's not gotten it. Everybody yeah. gets it. Right. So you guys would really have to fuck this up. Yeah. Like hard. But also... Or... <laughs> if you were the first ones, that'd be really awkward. Yeah. <laughs> Especially for us, because we'd be like, well, thanks, everyone. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so. So here we go. I want you to search your feelings. I want to open the little door in your heart, right? I want you to knock on it. I want you to open it up. And I want you to talk to that inner child, that inner person, that inner part of the heart. I want you to go back. And I want you to think really hard about you as a human, as a person. How do you feel about garden gnomes? They're protectors. They're protectors. I like that. They're a little creepy. I like creepy that. protectors. Uh, I, I like them. <laughs> creepy protectors that Kay likes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if they were like, if there's like this creepy ring around your house, mm -hmm. that would protect people. Indeed. It would protect you from people. Uh, that would be good protection. If I roll up to a house and there's 20, 30 garden gnomes, I'm not going in. Yeah. Wait, so how many garden gnomes is too many? We, we discussed this. We it's, have discussed this. It's, uh, <laughs> was it four? I don't know. I don't know if there's a too many, but I think that it definitely gives you an idea of what you're walking into. Right. <laughs> <laughs> we, we also discussed it, yeah. it being like a threshold once it was like seven. Right. That's that's to count how many. Then it's how many bodies, bodies are, are buried yeah, are in your basement. In the basement. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> At that point, you're like, okay. Always have uh, always have clear view of a window or a door. Have an exit <laughs> strategy as soon as you go in. I don't want to end up a creepy lamp sh lampshade in right. somebody's apartment. Yeah. It puts yeah. the lotion on the bat in the basket. Right. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure there's like a formula, right? It's like X equals number of garden gnomes and Y equals number of bodies in the basement or whatever. Yes. Right. 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 Yeah. 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 I, 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 I think it's like yeah. It, once it's like you see seven or eight. once you see more than seven, you know that they're bodies. Once you see if you see like. Five, like four or five, you're like this person's got stories yeah. <laughs> that I'm I'm going to be interested in hearing. Yeah. This is going to be an interesting like, ride. I, I'm going to sit down and I'm listen here for to it. this. Right, yeah. one or two, you're just kind of like, ah, that's fun. Yeah, yeah I immediately want to think that the souls of the people who are now the bodies in the basement are now just in the gnomes. Exactly. Yeah. Oh. So, oh. Trophies. Right? Trophy okay. gnomes. Trophy gnomes. <laughs> right. Yeah. Right. The spirits of the once living. 
who are now in the basement. Uh, yeah. Their souls are now just in the gnomes out in the front yard. Yes. And if you want to get I've into more that than house. Two in a yard. If you want to get into that house, there are keys under one of them. <laughs> but if you pick the wrong and gnome first, you, you, you immediately turn into one of them. Right. Oh, it just shit. Adds to the gnome. <laughs> it's that or it's a Chinese finger trap and it just right onto your finger exactly. and you're stuck with a gnome on your hand forever. <laughs> Uh, it could be worse. With you forever. We, we are uh, we are trying to spread the um, spread the love spread amongst the word. our friends that are in uh, bands that tour. Uh, when you tour with other bands, gnome them. You can see how they feel about garden gnomes by hiding little ones in their gear, maybe just <laughs> off to the side of the stage <laughs> at merch. Ooh. Yeah, just have one. I love for them that. At merch. <laughs> I'm like. A so little. I, I'm like a. I'm like well over a year sober now, and I used to love doing like the smearing off ice thing, where you would like oh, hide yeah, that yeah. in people's gear, and then they had to chug it. But I feel like gnoming is so much more fun. <laughs> See, it, this like, one it, and, it is, <laughs> and there's way less of a hangover. Way less of a yeah. hangover. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've, oh man, is that a, is that a thing that people have done on tour before too? Because. Unless we've done it. That... We've done it. And <laughs> okay. We've done it. Because we've done it to bands that have come through and that, yeah, yeah. If you okay. guys if you guys tour through here and we come to your show, there's a good chance <laughs> you're gonna get known. <laughs> that you're gonna be known. You totally just got known. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I mean, based on this, I mean, they get the bonus question, right? <laughs> yeah. I mean, come on. I Let's, mean, it'd be woo! hard not to give it to you. It'd be yeah. Yeah. It, it'd be impossible because we give it to everybody. Right. Exactly. Uh, so anyway, guys, bonus question is this. It's a multiple choice. Brad, we know you don't, you're not a meat eater anymore, but they make we know you kinds. did it at once. It's all right. So you can take yourself back there. We know there's other types. There's meatless bacon as well. Right. So the bonus question is this. Bacon, is it a topping? Is it a side? Is it a main course? D, all of the above. Mmm. Mmm. Okay. I think in order of those things, I think a side first, a topping second, um, and third, a full meal on its own. Because I feel like, you know, even for myself not eating meat anymore, like, you, you can't just, sometimes you can't be a classic, like, bacon and eggs breakfast. Right. Or, like, um, yeah, I don't know. Like, a good strip of bacon is always good. I think it can be a topping. I think pizza could also be a topping on. For sure. Um, mm-hmm. But I, I thought think... you were saying like pizza is a topping to other food. And I was like, huh, yeah. that's interesting. <laughs> that's what Brad's <laughs> saying. If you really believe it can't be. Have you Anything's ever had a, a pizza burger? You put it on top of things. <laughs> you ever pizza, had a pizza burger. burger. <laughs> um, oh, man. Yeah. Topping I is think... just location. Yeah. <laughs> that's just where you place it. Yeah. I uh, yeah, I think a side is the main okay. thing for bacon. Yeah. Okay, we're, we're, but you said main, so that means you're pretty much saying D all of the above, just like Jack. A said. little bit of D all of the above, but I think I have a, like a I have like a hierarchy of where I see right. bacon okay. in the meal. Okay. okay. I don't right. know if I, if like if you're saying a main dish is like you're just eating a plate of bacon. I don't think I could do it. I, I could probably do it, but I'd probably be. <laughs> I'd probably be griefed like halfway through it, you know. Right, right. But mm. okay. everything well, else, I, I if think. If we're saying a main, like, like say a um, BLT, say say a burger is your main thing that you order. There are other things with that, you know. You could eat it by itself, but there's usually other things with it. It just means that it's the main thing on your plate. Oh, oh yeah. Right. Then, so. yeah, then I'm for them all. Okay. All right. Well. All of the above is the correct answer. Yeah, it's definitely the correct I don't know. I, I'll answer. go to the, I'll go to the judges here. I'm going to give mean, it to Brad because he okay. clearly said it. He just then rated them in order right. of he did. of his preference. He did, which I'm all for. You know, okay. I, I like to. So well, let's say this: nuance is important. Brad is correct with an asterisk because yeah. we already have beef with him. Indeed. So, if you guys want to <laughs> get a little bit more into what uh, what we're what kind of beef we're talking about, right? Uh, come back on Monday. Come see their full-on episode. But until then, guys, can you let them know where to find everything there is about Better Love? Yeah, definitely. We are pretty much everywhere that you can find us on the internet. Uh, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, Facebook. We're on Spotify, Apple Music. Anywhere that you see the artists that you already love, we are also there and you can find us. 
Awesome. Awesome. Check it out. Check out uh, I Don't Want to Make It Hurt. It's available now. It just came out as yeah. of the recording of this. Yeah. So definitely check that out. It's really, really good, guys. Yeah. Um, I, I like the whole record. I listened to the whole record earlier today. <laughs> um, I will ask you one last question, but I'm going to ask it to you twice. I'm going to ask it to you now, and then I'm going to ask you again at the end of our full chat. And uh, I want you to think about this one because we say, what's your bacon, right? And when we say it, we kind of mean it like metaphorically, right? Bacon is a side, a topping, or a main course. Well, what is that thing in your life that's a side, a topping, and a main course? What is it that maybe music's your main thing, but maybe there's something that, that allows you to relax. Maybe there's something that takes your brain off it. Maybe music is always that thing. For a lot of people, it is. Some people, it's movies, cooking. Some people, it's uh, comic books, taking long walks on the beach, whatever it happens to be. We like to find out what it is that kind of, what gets you going? What, what makes life a little bit better for you every day? So guys, what's your bacon? Woodworking. Ooh. Woodworking, nice. I wanna, I'm, we're, I'm gonna have to hear more about yeah. this. All right. <laughs> Ooh. My bacon, <clears throat> I feel like it kind of changes from time to time, but lately <clears throat> it's been, I'd say laughter and comedy. Just nice. laughing with people. Nice. It's Love been that. a good one. J uh, um, okay. Mine's gonna be uh, K-pop music. That's uh, nice. Sweet. It's my thing. <laughs> nice. Awesome. I like that. We'll take it. Uh, so, so cool. Now we get to know yours and everybody that's listening. Once again, go check out. I don't want to make it hurt. Check out all the music. Check out yeah. everything. Um, and uh, while you're while you're rolling around waiting for this this next episode, when you're getting up tomorrow, when you're walking around today, I want you to ask yourselves every day. What's that thing that makes your life better? What's that thing that gives you some happiness? What's that thing that makes you just kind of groove to the day a little bit better than you could have if it wasn't around, right? What's your bacon? What's your bacon?